Hi guys, this is chapter 3 of class 6 mathematics for all India Saini school entrance exam. Okay, so chapter 3 is square and square root. Here, first we will see what is square, a square of a number. A square of a number is that a number raised to the power of 2. For example, if I am going to uh, take square of a number means, this is 5. What is the square of the number? Square of uh, 5 is, it is going to be raised to the power 2 that is 5 square this is called 5 square that is 5 into 5 so it is 25 so what is square of 5 that is 25 otherwise in simple words we can say that square of a number is nothing but when we multiply a number by itself if we are going to find out the square of the number 5 means 5 it is going to multiply with itself so it is square of the number that is 25 right so this is what I discussed here this is 2 into 2 that is going to give you 4 a square of 3 that is 3 square that is equal to 9 here the number has been multiplied with itself that is nothing but the power is increased to 2 the power of the number is increased to 2 what is perfect square what is perfect square a number is said to be a perfect square if it is square of any natural number it is nothing uh, different for example you have a 2.1 it is 2.1 if you take square it is also can give you square it is not the natural number 2.1 is not natural number. 2 is the natural number 2.1 it's a fraction value it is a fractional value so it is 2.1 2.1 into 2.1 this is what the square of 2.1 if you write the 2.1 that is you can write it is just 21 and 21 you can write in this way also 21 means it is 21 then 2 is just 4 this is 1 4 4 this is 441 so 2.1 it is actual number is 2.1 so it have you have to put the decimal point after two decimal from the right hand side from the because you have one digit after decimal point you have another digit after decimal point if you multiply these two numbers you have to put two digits after uh, after two digit you have to put the decimal point from right okay so this is also the square you have to understand that this is also the square of 2.1 but it is not the perfect square it is not the perfect square right so perfect square means it is only of the natural numbers if you are taking the square for natural number then it is a perfect square so here 4 square that is 60 5 square that is 25 these are all called as perfect square next square root square root is just opposite action of square the square root of a number is a factor of the number which when multiplied by itself will give you that number. So here square root of a number. So suppose here 25 is the number we have to find out the square root of 25 means factor of the number. This is the factor of the number because factor means if you are dividing 25 by 5 
it can completely divide this is one of the factor of the number right what is the other factor of the number 25 itself the factor of the number it can completely divide the number what is the other factor 25 divided by 1 this is also the factor of the number this is called the one of the factor of the number that is you can write the 25 in this form 25 can be written in this form 1 into 25 or you can say 25 into 1 or you can say 5 into 5 this is called factorization so here root of a number 8 is that the factor of the number this is the one of the factor of the 25 which can be multiplied itself then it is the root of the square root of the number so here you can get the 25 by a factor of 25 and it is multiplied by itself then it is the square root of the number similarly for 64 also 64 you can get in so many ways okay so you can say 64 can be written 2 into 32 but it is not the factor and it is not the multiplication of the factor here also you can write 32 into 2 in this way also you can uh, write right otherwise you can write that um, 16 16 into 4 it is also factor of 64 if you multiply 16 into 4 that will give you 64 but these are all not the square root of the number square root means a uh, factor it has to be multiplied by itself this is called the square root of the number right so in this case the numbers 5 and 8 are square roots of 25 and 64 respectively next finding square root this is uh, really uh, what you can say uh, tough compared to square if you want to find the square of the number means you can easily find out for example 25 square if you want 25 it's a simple multiplication this simple multiplication will give you the square of the whatever the large number for example 125 or 1000 25 or 500 and 520 whatever the number if you are going to find out the square means you can just multiply the number two times that will give you the square of the number but square root somehow difficult so one of the way to find out the square root of a given number is prime factorization method in this method uh, we will divide the number by some factors repeatedly so we will find out the square root in the end this method is mainly used for small numbers not for this method is not applicable for applicable means you can apply but it will be lengthy if you are applying this method for uh, big number or larger number then it will go very lengthy so this method is suggested only for small numbers for example it is a small number if the number is less than uh, 500 something like that we can go for this method right so it is 144 this is a given number we have to find the square root of the number so first it is a even number so you can divide this number by 2 easily again it is going to give you an even number again you can easily divide the number by 2 again it is given uh, even number you can divide it by 2 again it is even number you can divide by 2 now it is become odd so we have to try what is the other possibility you cannot divide this 9 by 2 so we can try by 3 so definitely uh, 3 3 is up 9 now again it is 3 you can divide this by 3 now it is 1 now you have to take all the numbers these are all called the factorization this is called the factorization so 144 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and 3 into 3 now i can pair the factors these are the uh, factors i'm pairing the factors now it has become 2 squared and it is 2 squared and it is 3 squared now simply you have to understand one thing square and square roots are opposite to each other so if i'm 
it is 2 square and it is square root. So, you can just cancel out this square and square root. Now, it will become 2. And also, you have to understand, it is 2 squared into 2 squared into 3 squared means, I can easily write that 2 into uh, 2 squared, it is 2 power, uh, 2 squared into 2, uh, then 3 squared. You can write like this. Now, it is 2 into 2 into 3. Now, I can just multiply these numbers. This is going to give you 12. So, 12 is the square root of 144. Right? So, this is uh, applicable for small numbers. And next method, it is the division method. This method you can use for mainly large numbers. For large numbers, we can use this method. And example is here. It is 1,51,321. So, you have to find out the square root for this number. 1,51,321. Here, I have to pair from the right to left. From the right to left, I have to pair two, two numbers. So, first I have to consider the first pair. If suppose you are having 5, 1, 3, 2, 1, then I have to pair in this way like that like, and this is going to be a single number it is not compulsory you have to pair two digits so but i have to start from the right to left if it is single digit is remaining in the end then you can just keep as it is this time it is uh, coming two digits so it's okay uh, we can take as it is right so here we have to find out a number a numbers square that should be equal or less than that first pair. Here I can take 3. 3 squared is 9. If I take 4, 4 squared will become how much? That is 16. Now this number 16 is greater than 15. So I cannot take 4 here. So this first step I have to take a number that square should be less than or equal to the first pair or first uh, number we are going to encounter. So here 3 squared 9 and you have to put that 3 here. Now it is 15 minus 9 is 6. Next step is that I have to multiply the 3 with 2. Always I have to double this value. Always I have to double the value. So it is now 2 into 3 6. Now after this uh, subtraction I have to take the next path down. I have to take the next path down. Now it has become 613 so this has to be doubled now it is become uh, 6 and we have to find out the number that has to be combined with 6 and also it should be multiplied with that combination that should give the value ne less than or equal to less than or equal to 613 then we can consider that number here in this case if I taking 6 61 that is multiplied with 1 means this is giving only 61. Suppose I am taking 62. This 6 so has to be remained same. That I am trying different combination. It can be maximum go up to 69. So it is 62. It is, should be multiplied with 2. So it is 2 2s are 4. Then 6 2s are 12. Similarly 63 into 3. So, whatever the, whatever, whatever the number I am combining with 6, that number has to multiply with the combination. So, now it is 3, 3 is our 9. So, 3, 6 are 18, 189. Still, it is not coming nearby 613. So, if you go on try, at one point, it will be 68. That is 6, 8 into 8. That will give you 544. If you put 6, 9 into 9. 9 nines are 81, then uh, carry is 8, then 5, 5 nines are 45, 6 nines are 54, 54 plus 8, this is 12, then 1, then 6, 6, 6, that is 62, that is 6, 6 to 1, this is 6 to 1, but the number here it is 6, 1, 3, so I cannot take 6, 60, uh, 6, uh, that is 9, as the combination so I have to stop with 6 8 so I have to take this number here again 
right next it is 544 the remainder is 69 now this last pair also has to be taken down again i have to double this 38 if you have double this 38 this will become 76 again i have to check by combining with which number with this 76 and it has to multiply with the same number will give you this number or less than this number this number or less than this number if i try that like i did for this case here it is 9 it suits for that 769 into 9 that is going to give you 6121 so i have to take this 9 as the digit so it is 389 that is the square root of this 1,51,321 okay so it is really a very good method to find out the square root of, of large number okay otherwise it is really without calculator you cannot find out the square root for large number right i hope all of you understood uh, what are the things i discussed in this video if you have any doubt in this topic please let me know in the comments Thank you very much.